Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Expedition Rome. In the last episode, we set fire to the Greek ships. We were ambushed and survived, and we were given command of our very own legion, Legio Victus. And today, we are going to march on the enemy garrison, taking the settlement by force, and hopefully claiming this supply island away from Pontus. And I have also been watching a few other people play a little bit later on into the game, and we have literally only just scratched the surface the game just does so much more as you get further and further in and gives you so many more options so i can't wait to obviously win this siege in this episode and move on to the rest of asia minor uh, and really get stuck into the whole like army management and all that stuff it should be very very exciting but for now we are marching on the enemy garrison we are about to siege the settlement and hopefully cut the head off the snake and cut the supplies into asia minor so, as I said, we have just been given command of our legion and we are ready to dispatch and march. So here we go. Your legions is now ready to uh, capture the enemy outpost. Uh, to deploy your legion, press left alt and enable the highlight if you haven't already and then click on the icons labeled. So yeah, we already have that uh, enabled so we can see everything. And yeah, just we go ahead and left click legio, missions, mission information window shows you the mission difficulty, supply cost and how long it will take. Since this is a battle, the legionary will lose a men. So you can basically go ahead and see you know, how long is it going to take for us to send our soldiers out and you know what's it going to cost us so right now we've only got 3,300 men in the legion we are semi under strength this also does suggest that we are going to end up maybe becoming like consul or commander of a certain region and have multiple legions under our command which is actually pretty cool and we also get to see the enemy strength as well as the game progresses you'll gain more ways to tip the odds in your legion's favor for now your only option is to attack uh, click the outpost uh, button. Uh, so yeah, let's attack the outpost. So the army, uh, we've obviously got our camp up and running, which is so cool that the camp actually gets like disbanded and, and moved. And there you go. The Legio Vectus is on its way now and is now attacking. So let's resolve the battle. And we also get to choose what type of commanders we're going to bring into the battle as well from the uh, the, the soldiers that we, we took in the last one. So choosing your commander, the first step in battle is to choose which centurion should command it. Different outcomes or are predicted for each of the Centurions based on their class and their command specialty. specialty. Make your choice based on these predictions. Uh, we have some risk uh, of approval of the Centurions. So obviously, uh, there's a chance that the, support, uh, the Centurions maybe will uh, yeah, affect the morale by not being loyal to us, uh, which could be kind of sucky. Uh, we also have the success chance as well, as well as the survival chance of the amount of soldiers that we'll be sending and also uh, how many soldiers like what? Well, yeah, so like some soldiers are better at like healing and stuff like that. And that, that makes it more people come along or we could try and get some more loot and other stuff along them lines. Saying that we have a very high in, in subordination risk on like all three of these guys. What the hell is wrong with them? Like this guy probably is our best bet as well, Titus. Uh, he's a cavalry specialist. I mean, for the most part, I don't think it really matters too much because this is the first battle. So if we get in subordination, it probably won't matter too much. And this guy's loot would be great because we get that second loot tra uh, crate. But yeah, I think we'll go with Titus. He's 100%, 100% and a 10% chance of affecting our, our morale. So Titus, lead us into a battle. So we now dive into the battle phase and we can basically choose throughout the battle these stratagems that will have effects on the greater theme of the battle. So uh, we have these stratagems that we can play and they'll, they'll kind of adjust the battle and the, uh, the, the opponents will also do them uh, as well. And you obviously unlock more of these the more we get further on into the campaign. We have the strength bar at the top. We have the uh, threshold of scattering the enemies, uh, which is always nice. So I think what we'll do, we have obviously protect the flanks. Don't really need to do that. And you can also see kind of the risk to the commander and, uh, and kind of the casualties on each of these as well. Over the top, we have our kind of manpower. We have our injured soldiers, uh, missing soldiers, army morale. Our army morale is not looking good right now. Uh, so we need to try and adjust that ASAP. Uh, so what we'll probably do is we'll probably... Yeah, we'll... I guess what we'll do is we'll do weak center uh, and we'll reduce the enemy defense and also improve their aggression, try and force them to come into us. So as the battle does play out, uh, you'll, you'll see kind of multiple events happening. There'll be like skill checks that your, your commander will have to try and you know, progress. And the AI will do their stuff as well uh, as the, your banter power does shift. Uh, you can also proceed to the next round. So if you're like, 
oh, I'm kind of bored of this phase. I want to go on to the next one. You can just click proceed or you can go ahead and click auto resolve. It would be nice if there was maybe like a speed up button. Um, obviously, proceed just jumps you to head to the next kind of like stratagem choice. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to maybe have like a speed up just so that you have to sit for everything. And you can see kind of all the, the, the additions uh, being applied. And the bar up here obviously is, you know, kind of the phases of the battle going on. So right now we're really just heavily skirmishing right now. There's a like battle attrition of like missiles flying everywhere uh, before the battle lines obviously do eventually clash. And you can also see the makeup as well. We have a lot of light infantry, some heavy infantry, and a lot of archers. So now what we can do, we can spread out and that would increase, uh, improve our defense, which would be nice. Uh, we could obviously throw Peeler, which would take about 100 of you. You can see it takes 100 of their men, uh, which is not bad uh, and also reduces their my defense. Or we could go ahead and just kind of get stuck in and, uh, and charge. I think we'll throw Peeler. Why not? Yeah, they're stuck in. We'll reduce their numbers. That's Roman way, of course. So that Peeler will go out and, and yeah, do, do a decent amount of damage throughout the phase. Oh, my morale, though, is getting absolutely hammered. I, I guess because, you know, we have you've just been ambushed, but morale probably does start off pretty pretty low. Luckily, though, we do... You know, this is the tutorial battle. It's not the end of the world. Also, this commander, my centurions are not that great. We're going to have to try and really invest in some more. In the demo playthrough we did, my centurions were absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this one uh, so far. We are, we are struggling right now. Uh, but for the most part, I think we're coming out on top. And obviously, we've got nowhere to run as well. So what we'll do is we'll skip to the next uh, the next set uh, until we get the next choice. And there you go. The weathering is charged. The battle has worn on for some time. And the weathering is beginning uh, to change for the worse. This could provide us an opportunity. So we could reduce uh, the enemy manpower down to 800. And that would very closely almost bring us to them breaking, uh, which is nice. We could also improve our own morale. That would actually give them some mem or some power back. Oh, it gives everybody uh, morale back. Okay. Yeah, our morale is just awful. Uh, or we could uh, attack them and just do damage. And does that, does that allow us to loot some more, maybe? Oh, no. It reduces our... Yeah, you can see our looting is really bad. Uh, so, I think what we'll do is we will just... Uh, your own effort and we'll just charge. We'll, we'll lose some legionaries. Uh, but we're going to win the day anyway. Or do we just kind of say screw it and boost? Yeah, I think actually we just say screw it and boost our morale. We're going to win this fight uh, regardless. Uh, so yeah, let's just try and boost our morale up as best as possible, I think. Yeah, you can see I'm not making any of the skill checks as well, uh, which is a real shame. But I just didn't want that insubordination. I mean, maybe the insubordination wasn't as bad as I, as I thought it would be. And unfortunately, I haven't, like, I don't have any of the cavalry. Like, we have cavalry on both flanks as well. And we're not getting any cavalry checks. Yeah, so you can see, this has uh, been pretty rough. But yeah, I was really scared of the insubordination. I'm sure you guys can let me know down below in the comments how bad that actually is. Uh, nice, we actually managed to pass the skill check right there. Uh, which will obviously push the battle in our favor. And there you go. Victory has been won. We've managed to break them. Uh, so we can destroy their manpower. Uh, we can obviously take some soldiers on to gain some, but obviously lose. Or we could just gain 10 morale. And I think I'll celebrate, gain that 10 morale, uh, so that when we move into Asia Minor, uh, that's not really something we're going to have to worry about too much. And obviously giving chase, I don't think matters much at this point. Obviously when we're in Asia Minor as well, it'll be absolutely fine. And uh, yeah, boom, the Centurions take to the front, and I'll take that. So, Zaylee Conquest, the day is yours. If your enemy manpower was reduced enough, their army will now scatter. Otherwise, they will retreat and join the nearest army. Obviously, it doesn't matter because uh, we're already just pushing forward. Spoilers of War, you may have earned some tribute of the loot people have claimed for their fallen enemies. If so, claim your reward before proceeding. Manpower and Centurion status. Uh, you should also take a moment to look over the screen to see uh, what has changed during the battle. Pay special uh, attention to your legions remaining manpower and check if there's any Centurions that were killed in the fight. Everyone was fine. Everyone was bad. Uh, we ended up losing 350 men. We ended up gaining morale and also gaining some prestige as well. You can see a lot of our attacks and defenses failed mainly down to our, our poor centurion right there where was he? yeah it was titus here right yeah uh, didn't do a great job and they also leveled up to get some more traits as well we gained nine slaves 27 denarii the enemy force was destroyed 27 denarii if i won a battle and i got 27 den denars i would be extremely uh pissed that would not be good but yeah we basically won the battle now and now we'll, we'll move in and obviously try and claim the city 
Uh, so the garrison. Visit the Legion camp to trade, recruit new, uh, yeah, new soldiers and craft items. Let's enter. Wait, are we already taken it? Do we not have to storm the garrison? I thought we did. In the uh, in the other one, we we had to. But maybe it's the choice I chose. We are still here. Discuss the siege. Oh no, yeah, we haven't siege the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my mistake. We have not done that quite yet. Uh, so is there anything I need to do? Do I need to trade? Uh, we don't have any weapons yet. I have to look if there's any more centurions so to pick from. So I'm not I'm not a fan of what we've got so far. Uh, so we do have some more. Uh, oh, this guy looks quite good. I like Marcus. So he's uh, a person known for leading uh, good lives to skip meals, crafty. I mean, he's a really good, like, builder. But I feel like we already have, like, good builders and everything. We just don't have good fighters. Yeah, everyone has, like, so basically the traits in red are, like, their their civic traits. Yeah, we have just all cavalry specialists and then a, and then a, and a lot of decisions. So we need, like, some, we need some siege dudes. We need some infantry guys. For sure. So we have a couple of shit. We're like, yeah, this guy's infantry specialist, a physician as well. So maybe we go ahead and take Gaius. Even though, again, he's more of a medic. I kind of just want, like, really good aggressive guys to be, like, infantry. Like, I want these tanks to be my, yeah, my infantry guys. But I just don't really have any. Yeah, are only two are, like, these two maybe? I mean, having a good, like, having this guy who's infantry is good. Like, just super goes all in, just cuts down the enemy. Yeah, I don't know. I, oh, we'll wait. We'll wait for now. Like, these guys will be fine for now. But I definitely do need to sort that out uh, as quickly as possible. Um, we can also head over here as well. Um, we can also apply some guys if we wanted to. We could like stick these guys down here to do some extra stuff in our party. Uh, I wonder why we can't stick our legionaries in here. Uh, but I guess we can't do that quite yet. Um, but we could, yeah, we could stick these guys in. But I think we will need them. I'm pretty sure if we stick them in here... Uh, we actually end up losing them in battle, and we'll get some like Praetorians and stuff to put in there later on. So let's go talk to our, our main guy, and we will uh, obviously discuss uh, what's next for the, uh, the siege. So let's go uh, talk to Tyrius and prepare ourselves for the siege. To simple men, conquest seems trivial. You, on the other hand, recognize the intricacies of such an operation. The gods have favoured me thus far. Fortuna favours the bold, they say. We have encircled Matiline, but we still need to take the city itself. Let us attack then. We are mobilising for a direct assault on the city. The fortress must fall swiftly. Okay, so I will sneak in uh, with my closest people through the harbour again, like before. My, uh, we'll lead the assault from, yeah, from the main gate. So what should we do? Sneak in from the harbour? Or just leave, I mean, leave, leave from the front, I think. It's a daring plan. If you succeed, we will save many Legionari. As always, we are ready to march on I love how we have the choice, though. That we, I, I, so I'm pretty sure this is what I picked last time, and this is what my character would do, you know. I wouldn't say I'm a sneaky guy. I'm much more of a straight, you know, straight talker. And, uh, yeah, let, let's do it. Let's go do the siege. And I believe this is what we did last time. But there, yeah, I believe there is an option to sneak in if we needed to. Uh, which is so cool. But you could go through uh, through the the harbour, you know, if that was your choice and that was your play style. Probably would, again, save us. Yeah, there's the outpost right there. Yeah, this was just an outpost. Okay, cool. Makes sense. This is the, the siege right here. Uh, so yeah, we'll bring everybody with us. We're all level three now, which is amazing. Uh, and let's get ourselves stuck in. So yeah, as I was saying in previous episodes, I believe as the game does continue, you do just unlock like random characters who aren't like a, a story character who can just die and go away. Like basically your centurions come along with you, which is a very cool way. And yeah, so here we go. We, we're pushing through the main gate now. Oh, we've already it's pushed through it. You, Yield if you know what's good for you. Oh, great and terrible romance. Thank you ever so much for your mercy and consideration. I have been trembling in fear of your arrival. Should I fall on my knees and beg for my life? I think I would. I mean, the gates have fallen, my so, friend. My fate is in your hands right now. And who told you it's fine to interrupt the conversation between two adults? Watch your tongue. You're talking to the commander of Legio Wittrix. <laughs> This young boy is barely fit to command a traveling band of jugglers. Did you really think you could challenge me here, of all the places? You are nothing but a common bandit now. chieftain. <laughs> you are greatly mistaken. I am an exceptional bandit chieftain. And you can see my, uh, my centurion. Oh, sorry, you talk. thought you could march through the gates of Mytilene and take its commander's head. 
predictable and pathetic. You are at my mercy now, just as I planned it. After I kill you, I'm coming for your consul. So you can see every like dialogue option as well has a big, big part in the whole uh, with, you know, with regards to all my centurions as well. And I assume that will affect how disobedient they are. So I'm probably going to have to take an episode to really uh, learn that as best as I can. So I guess we're just going to kind of blitz down. So how many we need to kill? So yeah, reduce uh, his force to five, making him surrender uh, or kill him. So we could either try going down the left-hand side and try and kill as many. Or we just go and kill him. And I, I like, kind of like the idea of going to kill him. So uh, we're going to blitz down this right-hand side. So let's take both my slow guys. I uh, can go here. And then, yeah, you guys are much faster. I should make it a little bit harder. We have some good shield guys. Obviously, a lot of the archers we have to try and take out. Uh, but should be okay. Yeah, should be fun. So let's start. Do we have any bandages as well? So we have bandages. I have some peel them. Cool. So I want to be here for sure. And then, yeah, you go like there. Because I want to throw a peeler at that guy's shield right away to get rid of it. So armor is displayed uh, above the golden bar at the end of the character's health bar. Uh, every bar of armor reduces health uh, damage taken by one point. Cool. Uh, certain special characters such as the commander have much armor that you won't be able to damage uh, uh, until you shred it. To shred the armor, attack with a two-handed weapon, a pike or a staff uh, that has armor shred. Does my pike have armor shred? Do we have a look at that? Because it, does it say on his weapon? Uh, yeah, does it say on his weapon if we have armor shred or not? I don't think so. I mean, we have no piercing. Uh, so we might just have to kill as many of them as possible. But either way, we'll have to find out. Okay, let's make my way down then uh, to like here. Uh, and then do we have that? Are we in range for that peeler? And we're just out of range. We don't actually need an action to throw a peeler. So we can actually get really close to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be up to here. And then throw that peeler, destroy his shield, uh, and then that's us done. Okay, cool. Shield broken, which is awesome. And uh, then we'll bring up our archer, and then we can get a good shot on her. I mean, I'll probably set that person ablaze. Seven damage, and he's on fire as well, which is great. Oh, yeah, we also have ranging shot as well uh, if we wanted to. That should be very good. I and mean, I guess we just blitz down here. So what we'll probably do is I will pop. I should have popped this beforehand, to be honest. But we'll, we'll pop back just so everybody has extra movement. And we'll start getting these guys and gals down. So we'll get you to like there. We have our assassin who, yeah, we'll not be able to get there. But it's fine. Actually, no, no. Oh, God. I should have probably put him elsewhere a bit like further behind. I mean, you get to there. And she'll probably have to come down as well. Just for the sake of it. Just so that she's not like completely out in the open. So yeah, we're locked in combat here, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, he can actually, oh, he still has an ability, but, yeah. If he goes there, he loses it? He still has his action point. Oh, yeah, it costs it, but it shows it. Cool, perfect. So he's burning and just so almost dead, so we'll be able to kill him next turn easily. A few of our Roman friends are down. We definitely need to take out them archers as quickly as possible. Hey, if he comes down as well, that would not be bad either. And do keep in mind during the combat as well, everybody with that pawn symbol above their head uh, is uh, gives us an extra action point back as well. There you go. A lot of our boys now turning up. They should really take down the left flank. Oh, good shot, good shot, good shot. Because that guy wouldn't have given us an action point back because he wasn't a pawn. So I'm not going to get up here anytime soon. Could try and destroy this and we can get up here a little bit easier. I could definitely be the play. I need to do 10 damage, but I don't know if this guy will do 10 damage. This guy probably will. Easy way for him to gain focus as well. So it's down to six. There's no way we're going to kill it, right? Yeah, so we're better off just probably pushing. Take cover here at all? Uh, yeah, we get a bit of cover there. So let's just keep on pushing. Get out. I do want to break through that. So what I'll probably do is push up with my guy. So I'm five damage. And again, you just push down here. Because yeah, I would love to get my archer around there. I mean, yeah, you just come up here. Perfect, I and mean, we can't quite get up. Uh, so yeah, you'll go this way just to kind of help cover that guy. You, you're just chilling there. We get up here, so that would take another moving point. Set a guy on, f yeah, we'll set this guy on fire. Oh, it's only six damage. That's a shame. I mean, yeah, you just get like here, so you're out of cover. You can climb up here next turn. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe we just push down here. Like I just, because obviously I'd love to get up here. Actually, no, we should just all have gone up here. What am I doing? I'm going to come up here. 
I'm gonna blitz everyone with his movement, and then yeah, I think we're actually gonna, we're gonna switch. I'm gonna switch and just go up here. I didn't realize there was a pulse over here to kind of run him down. So you, you can get a little bit closer. That was my, that was my bad for sure. And that's gonna take you a handful more turns to get over here. I mean, he's fast, so he's fine, and he can get up here. Uh, I guess it's actually not that bad. So you just push him there. You just get back. You just get here, so you can kill that guy next turn. Cool. Done. I think that's good. So he's burning and he'll be an easy kill next turn. They're busy fighting the rest of the Legion. Oh, I got jumped down. What a maniac. What an absolute maniac. Luckily as well, that guy who's attacking me up in the corner is actually just a two-hander. So he's not locked into combat with me. So I don't have to worry about that. Cool, cool, cool. The Romans are breaking them. We've already managed to get them down to nine people so far. Reinforcements behind us. Not really a problem for us. They're kind of far away. I mean, yeah, we just blitz up here, I guess. Are these... Uh, oh, you can get some more Pelum. Nice. Some water jugs as well. And what's this? Um, I mean, I don't know what water jugs do, but we'll grab them. Pick up water jugs from a barrel to use a free throwable item and spread water across an area. And that gives me Pelum. I mean, that's kind of cool. I might do that with some of my other characters. So let's get him up there. He's also still got that movement bonus as well, which is nice. And obviously, we've got our, our pointish armor as well on our character. Can you get up here or are you blocked? You can't actually get up here because of that archer. Oh, man, that's so annoying. Um, so I guess maybe we just, like, blitz around here? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just get up here. I mean, obviously, I can shoot that guy as well. So I'm probably going to make my way, like, here. I should be able to still shoot some of these guys... And then next time we're going to be able to really get stuck in. I mean, I might as well pick up some Peeler here with this guy. Whilst we have it. You get over here. And then, yeah, you just... It's, oh, I, I, I attack. Okay, well, you just come up here now and get stuck into these guys then. You're bringing him down. Now, this guy has some, this guy has a Peelum. I'll take it. And we have, still have a shot left with this guy as well. I uh, can't hit that guy, uh, but we can hit this guy. So we'll stop working him down. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, Down to huh? two. And then your next turn, we'll be able to blitz forward as well. Uh, we could also apply this as well for some focus. Yeah, let's give him uh, let's give him Savage, because I don't think it goes away, which is nice. So you're stuck into there, just kind of killing them. Everybody else is moving up. Sounds nice. Oh, and he bled to death as well. It's awesome. I'll take good care of you. They're all coming behind us, but it should be fine. If we can cut the head off the snake. Nothing to really worry about. And their numbers are already dropping very quick. I mean, we're up to 13 again, but... They are... We obviously... This, you know, this is a tutorial battle, so... Let's just finish this guy off really quickly. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just slash him. And then make our way over here. That guy is down. We just got him to deal with. Okay, cool. Uh, so I guess we'll take a shot. He's bleeding now. Our main guy can make his way up. Um, do I want to... I probably want to kill this guy, though. So that he can just get closer to the enemy. So yeah, you just slash him there. Perfect. Um, and then, yeah. And do you get another action point back? You didn't, which is fine. So we'll get here. And then we're, we're basically at his doorstep as well now. Great. We have all these javelins to throw as well. Got the archer. Do I guess might as well pick up a Pelum? I don't know if these go away at the end of a turn, but uh, I'll take them, you know. If it helps us later on in the line. There's everybody. Oh, we also got this guy as well, yeah, with his crit. So, yeah. You just sprint over here, and then next turn, we'll, we'll blitz. I'll probably heal with our pike guy, and we'll just put everything we have in on him. Obviously, he's going to be reducing damage a lot, but it should be fine. And, yeah, he still has his savage blow as well. Okay, we have we bought our way to the command structure. Oh, he's jumping down. Does he have enough to attack? Oh my god, he does. What a mad lad. I mean, it makes sense. Like he's, if he's just sits there, he's going to get wrecked. So coming out is a good idea. And we're starting to lose a handful of men now. I believe as well, the battles do get quite big on your part. Like you end up commanding quite a few soldiers. And I'm not sure in the battles if like you actually command everybody. Like if what happens with these soldiers happen uh, or, or what. But yeah, let's get pretty crazy. We're going to backstab this guy. Oh, we can't because of this. We can push him back, though. 
to start reducing his HP. Yeah, so let's, let's obviously get over here. We want to flank him. So we'll go here and here. So now he's flanked. So we should take more damage. My weapons don't actually pierce his armor. Interesting. Any of these guys pierce his armor? Does this pierce his That's crypt? Yeah. Does our archer break his armor? No. Interesting. So it's only this guy that really breaks his armor and he's going to die if he's not careful. Um, okay. So I mean, we need to get up here with, with you as well. We well, have Peeler. So maybe the Peeler does it. That's, that's probably why the AI is giving us so much Peeler. Yeah, it does. So we'll throw that at him. You can also throw it. That's why, yeah, that's why there's so many barrels around. I mean, you're going to get killed if you do that, though. Can you heal yourself? Can you, if I do this, can you heal yourself? But you're going to get attack opportunities, yeah, which is bad. Uh, prevents uh, the target from making an attack opportunity until my next turn. Yeah. So now he can't take an op uh, uh, attack of opportunity. I mean, we can now get this guy out. And we can also throw that Pelum. We're getting his HP down slowly but surely. Can we pick up another one? Oh, we can't throw it again, though. Okay, I mean, you could go and pick up another one because now he can't take a, a, make an attack of opportunity. Go. Okay, we're getting, we're getting it. We're getting there. Pick that up. Just reduce that armor, my man. How like the dog you are. We still can't. Oh, that does damage to him? Oh, that gets through his armor? Hell yeah. Do any of do any of these? No, none of this other stuff does. Let's fall back. Then we'll get this guy up. And then if he does try, can we knock him down as well? Oh, we could knock him down. Yeah, I think we definitely use that. And yeah, now he's knocked down, so he has loads of debuffs. He's spending, I think, an entire turn getting back up. I think we've got him. Oh, that then kills him? Oh, boom. Nice, we did it. So yeah, I believe the armor... Yeah, I believe the armor reduces damage by one. And because he had 10 damage, he would reduce everything by 10 damage. But then we slowly broke it down. Okay, I think the armor makes a lot more sense now, uh, as you have it. The defenders are scattering. They know they're beat without Archelaus to command them. I don't think there's any danger of reinforcements. Shall we make our way back to Lucullus's camp and let the console know the battle is won? Uh, let's catch our breath first, for good sure. Idea. I'll wait here. Just let me know when you're ready to leave. Because I'm sure there's some good loot on the ground that we're going to want to pick up. Yeah, look at that. That sword. His, yeah, that'll be really good on probably a lot of our characters. So we'll take this for sure. We'll take the money. And we've got some pike heads as well to make more spears. And if we obviously we make sure we do this, yeah, there's so much loot laid, laid around. So what I'll do is I'll obviously do this off camera. I'll go and grab all the loot that I can. And then we'll dive back in once I've done that. Okay, guys. So we are back and I have basically looted everything I could find around here. We actually got an absolute ton of loot, which was awesome. We've got to inventory. As you can see, this is going to take a little bit of management. But we'll do that when we get back to camp after obviously uh, uh, kind of clearing up this are mission. Are ready to leave? Uh, I need a longer. Let's go. There is no reason for us to stick the around now. We'll be proud. We fought like wolves today. We did indeed, and we managed to kill the enemy captain as well. I can't remember last time I didn't go to kill him. I just made his soldiers a surrender, and I'm pretty sure uh, he uh, he did escape. Congratulations, young man. That was quite an impressive display of command proficiency and valor. Thank you. With your guidance, I shall achieve even greater things. Hopefully. I have nothing but confidence in you. Unfortunately, you will get to test your abilities again soon. With all due respect, we have de decimated the pirates. There'll be nowhere to run. Uh, what do you mean? With both Lesbos and Asia Minor under our control, the pirates are uh, toothless. I think definitely number two. Except Asia Minor is still not under control. Cotter failed. The Pontic army has now laid siege to Chalcadon. The pirates will retreat to Asia to support their patron. Mithridates Megas. Uh, curse our luck with terrible news. Is Cotter still alive? We do not know. Mithridates' forces vastly outnumber Cotter's legion. We must transfer our troops to Asia and quickly subjugate the region. Hopefully, we will break the siege in time to save our fellow Romans. When do we leave? Make your preparations. We leave at dawn's first light. 
Awesome. Well, so now this is where the demo ended. So from this point on, I am going in absolutely blind. So I'm very much looking forward to that. So let's do a little bit of just party management. We still haven't leveled up. We're actually quite a ways off leveling up, but that's absolutely fine. Um, we'll take a look at our inventory really quickly. I'll pretty much just see what uh, what gear we can kind of upgrade to. So I believe this guy. So yeah, these weapons aren't good, that great for us. I mean, yeah, basically one armor. There's a lot more resistances and stuff and movement uh, is increased. I think he would probably benefit for something like this. Um, uh, maybe not. I, don't, I really wish that you could just leave on a cosmetic. They all kind of look a bit silly with this stuff on. Um, but yeah, so obviously, oh, we also have this as well, giving a bit more health and fire resistance. Uh, I'll wear that. Sure, why not? We also have plenty of swords as well. We have a Zephos, uh, and we also have the amazing blade here as well, uh, which we could definitely stick on. If I go ahead and press Q and go over here, we currently have a Gladius on. Uh, this weapon would be really good. However, I, I'm really enjoying using this spear, honestly. And we actually upgrade our spear. It's currently 3 to 6. This one is 3 to 7. This one is 4 to 7, which is way better. So we'll grab that one on for sure. Yeah, and we have some bows down there. We also have a better shield. Uh, oh, we actually have a much better scutum right there as well. Nice, cool. I will take that uh, and some other armor. So, yeah, this is minus four movement, plus four all resistances. Yeah, I mean, just wearing back. It just looks silly, right? Like, we're playing as Romans. I wish you could just, like, keep the, the cosmetic. I know there is a way to get some cosmetics, but, yeah, I'm actually not 100% sure how I, I go about that, which is you know, obviously absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these are better, uh, but screw it. We'll keep that on right now. Uh, again, his armor uh, severely uh, not as good. All resistances and minus four movement, whereas this is more resistances. Ah, screw it. We'll, we'll just, my God, uh, we'll just run with that. And he also has a much better sword as well with the Zephos or the uh, with this. Oh my God, this blade is it's a dagger though. We obviously want him to have a sword. Yeah, we'll do that. And that gives him defensive strike, uh, which applies deflect, which is nice. And overpower. That seems like a really good sword. So we'll go ahead and equip him with that. We'll equip our new Greek soldier with them weapons. And then he also does have a spear as well. Uh, which I guess we will uh, switch over. And give him that spear as well. Cool. Looking good. Then over on our guy as well. We have uh, a much better weapon for him. Oh yeah. There you go. Boom. He's got his pike. Uh, a pike. Six to nine. Probably our most damage of everything. Uh, so this will reduce his movement by quite a bit. We give him a bit boost of resistances. We also give him a helmet as well. You guys. Oh yeah. You guys can also wear these helmets as well. And that's probably the, the most stupid helmet. So at least that way, he looks like a complete Greek. And we can give him a much better shield here as well. Oh, he didn't have a shield in this formation. There we go. Yeah, so this shield is... I mean, this shield is dramatically better. I guess we will just equip it. He looks like Achilles now. Yeah, not a big fan of this. Personally, I wish I could just kind of keep the, uh, the aesthetic. Maybe there is a way to do it. And I just don't know. Um, and this guy can have his helmet. Uh, oh, we also have another one of these as well. Um... Again, I guess I'll, I'll wear that as well. I mean, I look pretty badass there with a Greek helmet and Roman uniforms. That looks dope. Uh, I'm a fan of that. And then with our archer, does she have, yeah, best bow, which is fine. So then we will just go ahead and equip him uh, with these weapons. So yeah, definitely this. That weapon is way better for him. Uh, and then we need a better dagger as well, um, which we probably have somewhere. Can we equip any of these? Regular dagger? Do they go in them slots at all? It's two to five. Is there like a specific weapon that goes in there? I guess he can't have a, a regular sword in here. It's a worn dagger. So I guess he needs a dagger. That's a unique sword. Yeah. That's where we had. Yeah, we did have another dagger there. Boom. So this guy should be doing a lot of damage. He has six to seven there and three to seven here. Uh, which seems very good and a lot of good abilities. He's got rupture to apply bleeds. He's got slash and gouge. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to be doing lots and lots of damage. Uh, which is nice. And then with her, I mean, we can stick... Oh, she can't actually wear a helmet, which makes sense. And then nothing else for them. Okay, cool. That's them set up. Again, no more skills. Uh, we obviously have loads of... Like, I picked up so much material as well. It's kind of crazy. Um, so let's go back now. So right now, we have to obviously scout Asia Minor and head our way out there. Uh, but first things first, I think what I will do is I will head over to uh, to a few of my barracks and see if we have anything extra we can now do. And it's probably not a bad idea to talk to a bit of everybody as well. Hey, is anyone to talk here? Uh, we have this guy here, though, Sextus. Is he our smith now? Um, now that I'm a legate, Legatus, you must say something special for me and my Pedorians. I'm just a legion blacksmith, not a magician. If you have something particular in mind... We'll talk. Okay. I'm still as busy as I was before you were promoted. You'll have to leave one of your people with me to help out with your commissions. Uh, okay, cool. From what I hear, you barely have an anvil over there. Perhaps you should make sure you have the tools I'd need. 
then I'll consider it. Okay, we can definitely do that. You are, you are old and wise. What do you think of my companions? A bunch of Balatrones, I'd say. Fine. Yeah, cool. We don't need to, we don't need to worry too much about that. Obviously, even my camp as well. What do you need? Oh, cool. I'm just seeing if there's anything like other missions or anything we needed to do here. Cool. I don't think we do. So, but yeah, this is even my camp. So, upgrading it uh, is obviously not a good idea. Oh, that looks so dope as well. Oh, that looks really cool out onto the sea. Hopefully, we get to do some like beach landings. I know we go to Gaul and I know we go to North Africa. So, definitely plenty. Uh, plenty to do for sure, but let's get back to onto the world map really quickly We can obviously make our way back to our legion You know, we actually don't have a camp. We broke camp didn't we? Yeah, so the sector has been conquered uh, Which is good and then what we we now what do we do? Do we get on boats? Can we get over here? Yeah, we can so I guess like, Where is our objective now? Scout Asian minor with your free to stumble upon the opposite. So are we going over here? Oh, well, we have to travel across here anyway, which is fine. And there's nothing else we can scout. Okay, well, let's uh, let's set, let's set us march then. Get on our boats. And we are already under attack, maybe? Or maybe it's just discussion. Probably talking. Probably not another battle right away. But maybe pirates are after us again. With Carter's fleet defeated, it will take some time to move the legions into Asia. We should relocate Legia Wittrix first. Your Legionari have been sitting idle too long, Consul. They're just about put down roots. Agreed. The task of picking our path to Calcedon will be up to you. Scout ahead with the speculatories, then use Victrix to pacify the province. I will follow with Legio Prima Italica to help you hold the territory you take. Uh, we should learn more about the political situation before we begin our invasion. A few rebels. Uh, so yeah, maybe. And then we obviously also have a choice to say this is already, already Roman territory. Uh, I'll say number two. That is a wise plan, but Cotter's precarious situation does not leave as much time for caution. Then we must learn on our feet, Domine. The bulk of Mithridates' army is besieging Kazikos, the only city in Asia that resisted him. With his local allies, he is too great a force for us to face. If you can discover a way to turn the other regions here against Mithridates and make them withdraw their forces from the siege, that would aid us greatly. What about the traitor? The one who lured the Legion into Archelaus' ambush? He should be killed like the cockroach he is. Good that you mention it. I believe we may have found him. A Centurio called Cassius. So that's the guy who stole Caesar's uh, Caesar's diary, right? Which is probably how he found out about the, the ambush, like where we were going. Not precisely. But it appears he was originally from Troas. I would say it's a safe bet you'll find him somewhere in that region. We'll see what we can discover. Remember, he's no use to us dead. Visit me in my legion's camp when you've questioned him. If we're talking about interrogating spies, Calidus should be part of this. Where is he? I was expecting him to appear out of nowhere halfway through this conversation. I'll go it find him. It would not surprise me to find he's been standing right behind us this whole time. Uh, cool, he's all the way over here. Let's go find him really quickly, or her really quickly. Or is it? It's, they keep on saying he, but... Um, so Julius sees her hanging out. Uh, sorry, yeah, so she's chilling out there, eyes fixed in the distance. Uh, you open your clasp and pull down the chain off of him. He struggles a little against your help and tries to speak, but instead he throws himself halfway over the rails, violently sick. Uh, you look hammered. This is not the time to talk about that. You deceived me. Deceiving people is what I do, Prima. There's a reason I'm good at it. So what, we just discovered practice. that this isn't a male, it's a, a female. Time to reveal the lie. I mean, maybe give you a little more time to earn my trust. You've proven to be more than a capable enough. At the very least, you've earned a chance to redeem yourself. Good. I seek to be judged on my merits as a scout, a soldier, and a spy. Nothing more, and nothing less. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. I kind of skipped about through. Time you two met. You knew about this? Oh, good. Uh, I was trying to decide how to break this to you. I would never have asked you to lie to the consul on my behalf. He has been crucial in helping me maintain the deception. I was shocked at first, but Calida had more than proven her worth by the time she revealed. Yeah, the I mean, truth it was pretty obvious. I thought we I everybody can't say already this knew. A surprise! I figured you had your reasons to keep the secret, so I played along. By all the gods, you are a great woman. Ah, oh, wonderful. It's turning into a whole thing. When this war is over, I will court you. You and I will produce strong children. I will attempt to take that as a compliment. 
All right, people, that's enough. Give us some privacy to talk. I really am sorry I had to lie to you all. If you can find it in your hearts to forgive me, I will be honest with you from now on. Well, apparently the you only too, person who Legate. didn't know was Truly. was my character. You have right to feel betrayed. But I want you to keep Yulia Kalida in your Canterburnium. Militarily, you're an irreplaceable asset together. For what it's worth, I want to stay. Uh, yeah, number two seems fine with me. I'll leave you two to catch up. I have an invasion to plan. Let's do it. Awesome. So we are the scouting force. We'll be taking our legion forward. I'll be taking my private bodyguard uh, to kind of scout around. And let's make our way onto the mainland. The cool thing is, though, as they say, like, I have a lot of decisions on what we do, uh, which is pretty exciting. Uh, so can we see? So quest right now. So we have Whack-A-Mole, which is if you find yourself in Tauros, ask around to find the traitor. Divide and conquer. Uh, so we'll probably have to do some missions for the surrounding uh, minor states to get less people under his control or under the, the main Pontic army. And obviously finally conquer the, the uh, conquer Asia Minor, which is our ultimate goal. So right here we have a tannery. So we have obviously stuff over here, which we can try and conquer. There's some temples. Um, yeah, I'm not really exactly sure. So here we go. Oh, yeah, I'll press Alt on. Alt, Alt really helps out uh, a ton showing you. So I guess we'll head over here to these supplies really quickly. Just see exactly uh, what's over here. Yeah, tons. We also got some stuff to craft. That is a lot of crafting right there. Uh, so I'll obviously take all of that. I mean, I guess we'll make our way to the tannery. There's mines up here as well. So conquering all of this is fairly important. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess we'll head towards the, the tannery. Oh, there's actually quite a large army there. And then I imagine these flags are probably where we camp out. Okay. I mean, I guess we go to the tannery um, just for an easy battle. Well, I say easy. Don't know how easy it will be. Um, oh, the current sector is not yet pacified. Okay. So do I just head over there myself? Oh, there's a temple there as well. Cool. I mean, I'm learning this as well for the first time. So we're discovering a bunch of locations, uh, which is absolutely fine. And then we've got a Legio Mission, Hunting Ground, and Tannery. Okay, and each of these provide uh, bonuses, food. Uh, cool. Then let's uh, head our way over here then. So, be, uh, so obviously we'll get a little bit of a tutorial here. Begin your conquest. Uh, you've lo uh, located a good place for your legion to place their outpost. Click on it and order Legio Victus to move into Mycia and capture the region. Just like what you two did to take over Lesbos. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. And we'll attack the outpost. Again, they're pretty understrengthed. 1,800 men against our 3,500. And we'll send the Legion to go and do that. Oh, man. Okay. So I was just up here by myself. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. I guess I'll head towards this whilst they're going to go fight that. Uh, Baby Boris and their parents followed uh, some particular tracks and came across fairly well hidden natural niches in the forest from within a number of young uh, defenseless boars. Um, let's hunt the younglings and, uh, be gone before the boars return. Well, wait for the mature ones, I say, worth the risk for a few injuries. Yeah, I think that's good enough for me. Um, you wait for the boars for a while, it seems like they might never appear, but then with nothing but a slight rustle of leaves to announce them, they charge at you with fury and vengeance. <laughs> oh no. We got a light wound, but we managed to take them down, so that's fine, I guess. So the, the army is going to go over and we're going to head our way over here. And boom, battle has approached. So right now we get to pick our commander again. And again, we don't really have good guys. I really need to sort this out. And when we, as soon as we make camp, we are making better soldiers. Because if our insubordination is just not going to be good. This guy does uh, reduce the rate of uh, casualties, which should be nice. But again, this battle should be fairly easy. Uh, this guy gives us more loot as well, which I kind of like. Let's do it. Because it'll be, it'll be good to note as well. Uh, what the insubordination is like as well. The character will succeed at, at, at attacks and defense for benefit from logistics. Okay, I doubt that would be too useful. But yeah, let's, let's just use this guy. The extra loot might be nice. Um, if we can get to like maybe one of this, uh, that'd be kind of good. Uh, and it'll be good to see you know, what happens with the insubordination as well. Uh, so let's grab up this battle uh, and give it a go, right? Does it say... It doesn't change anything else. Cool, let's do this. Men are awaiting your orders. Okay, the Legion is still at minus 10 morale, but that's fine. Uh, so we can play aggressively, which would obviously ramp up casualties. But yeah, ramp up casualties. And what does it do? Injured Legionaries uh, from 80 to 40. And player aggression goes up. Uh, don't need to worry about the commander. He's looking absolutely fine. Uh, and all we could reduce. Yeah, so let's go ahead and Maniple Charge. 
Uh, we're gonna go aggressive here. Look to crush this outpost whilst we can. I really... So this guy will be quite good eventually once he unlocks everything. Once he gets the artillery and the infantry specialist. But I think, yeah, as soon as we make camp, I'm gonna really take a look at how I'm going to you know, recruit some new legionaries, uh, which will be very good. And we can obviously jump ahead. So you can see we're getting some bonuses there, which is nice. But yeah, obviously benefiting on a lot of these will, will help us out massively. And the current survival rate is 30, uh, which as well, which is just the default. So yeah, you also get tons of new... That was a good one as well. We actually got both of them because of his class and his, uh, and his attack style, which is great. Uh, that'll help us out. But yeah, you can get many different stratagems. You unlock them in the camp as well. And you can, I think you can work towards them as well, which will obviously help us out in these battles. Um, yeah, so unfortunately not being able to succeed on them. <laughs> Legion morale down. That's annoying. Uh, let's just jump forward. So again, we can play defensive. Uh, we can hold position. Or we can play, uh, yeah, spread out a bit. Defense up, aggression down. I mean, our aggression is already pretty high. But I think just throw Peeler again. It seems like a good way of, of, of crushing them uh, quite quickly. Oh, yeah. So we'll lob our Peeler in. Struggling on these defenses. I should be doing a pretty good job at holding us back, to be honest. And battle attrition obviously is kicking in. We're actually losing more men than they are. We just lost 70. We lost 40. Yeah, I need to sort out these commanders for sure. There you go, number 22 right there. Next battle, battle phase three. We are pushing forward. Uh, divide and conquer. We take down a big chunk of their army, but reduce our loot. Um, we could also boost our morale. Yeah, I think we'll try and boost our morale again. And now the fight is really starting to clash now. Oh, risk the commander up. Well, at least we're doing some damage. And, you know, we are winning the battle slowly. So the bar displays a relatively strengthful battle. Whichever side has the greatest strength when the last battle phase ends will win. Okay, so as long as we're over here, we're fine. We're not going to scatter them, but we'll still do enough to, to take them, which I think is absolutely fine. And this is the last battle phase as well. Oh, we're getting some good kills now. And victory is done. So do we just boost our morale now? Um, obviously, we take on a bit of, of the troops and destroy the enemy army. I think what we'll do is we'll take on the morale. That way, we're at least positive. Um, and obviously, as soon as we get, like, every every 10, it says here, is extra point of strength. Oh, each point of morale adds 10 points of strength as well. So it boosts this bar up for every uh, every bit of morale. So, yeah, I think getting that up uh, will help us out. Oh, my God, one of my commanders died, to be fair. It's probably for the best because I don't like these commanders and I want to get new ones. So it's okay. But yeah, he actually died. Oh no. Man, that was a very small chance of him dying. And we also took out some loot as well. So let's claim our rewards. Uh, just some spoils of war, which is fine with me. And the other commanders leveled up a little bit, which is also fine. Again, not a successful assault, uh, but it's fine. Pacifying region. Your legion has captured the first region in Asia Minor. Um, that hasn't been pacified yet. As soon as your legions leave, the enemy will take over once more. In order to secure uh, a foothold, you'll have to carry out specific pacify, pacify, pacification missions. Open your quest log to find out. Okay, seems fine to me. So let's quickly find out what their missions are. Uh, so uh, pacify the region. Talk to your prime. Yeah, so talk to the dude in our camp and we can do that. We're we just going to head to this, uh, this observatory. Oh, we're going to get ambushed as well. What's happening here? Is he going to about to attack me? Uh, we, we just have more gear right here. I mean, obviously, tragedies. Uh, oh, he's wounded as well. Interesting. So it's, it determines how wounded he is, and then he'll just need medicine to re replenish, which is fine. Okay, and I imagine this stuff uh, will make him just heal up a little bit quicker as well. Yeah, start treatment, my man. Uh, so yeah, so it'll take 24 hours, but when he's done, he'll be nice and healed. We've got some more gear as well. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know who that is. That oh, is that the army running? Okay, so we've, we've been to the uh, we basically uh, just scouted us out more regions. So let's go to camp now. And obviously we want to go want to capture these tanneries and stuff. So visit the legion camp to trade and recruit new uh, new dudes. Yeah, we definitely need to after losing uh, one of our main guys as well. Okay, back in the camp. Let's quickly go talk to our our main guy. I think it's this guy. Or it could be this guy. Either one. We'll talk to both of them. Uh, it's probably this guy. He's our military man. Let's go talk to this man. 
to see how, basically how we pacify the region. Our way, Legate. If you have a moment, there's a matter which I believe urgently requires your attention. Uh, go ahead, I have time. Although our legion is quite new, they're already demonstrating superior discipline and devotion. Unfortunately, no matter how successful a military engagement is, sometimes the pacification of a region demands your personal attention. Okay, personal attention, you mean I have to take care of every single troubled man, uh, then do what is never With necessary. With respect, I'm not in charge of Legio Victrix. You are responsible for making decisions. I can only give you my advice. Okay, I understand. Let me know if such a situation arises. Remember, Legate, until we left unextinguished, the embers of rebellion can turn into a roaring inferno. Our dominance on land depends partly on our dominance of the seas, Legate. Unfortunately, we have discovered the Greeks are building a new navy somewhere. Okay. Uh, let's take away their raw materials. Seems pretty good. We can intercept their lumber shipment and kill everyone. That should slow them down. Enough for us to actually find their shipyards. Our way, Legate. Uh, let's see how the morale is among the legions. I am pleased to report all is well. Sure, there is some grumbling now and then, but that is part of military life. Again, give me respect your command. Give me the report of the legionaries' manpower. We're not at full strength, but we have enough men to get things done. If a battle awaits us, we will manage. Okay. I should also note that we have quite a lot of people injured from the recent fighting. As soon as they're back in action, we'll be in better shape. Seems like a good setup. Okay, cool. Let's go talk to this guy as well. He might have some tips for us. We already have a lot of missions to do in this region, like a lot. Legate, I am at your service as always. Are we ready to improve as the camp? I've explained, we need the strategic resource. Yeah, okay, cool. So we need to actually take some stuff first, which is absolutely fine. Uh, let's head over here really quickly because I want to uh, see if there's any other better uh, centurions Legate. we can recruit. Please, excuse me. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on this, obviously. Okay, perfect. And yeah, you can ask you. So yeah, I believe you can also assign these guys as well to your own Praetorian party as well, which is nice. So let's have a look at these guys now. Um, so this guy is like good at just in general like crafting stuff. So I might recruit him. But I need like an infantry specialist as well. Um, again, a medic who's good at infantry and then later cavalry and artillery seems pretty good. Yeah, we don't actually have that many. See, I'll, I'll take this guy. Uh, I'll hire him as a centurion. Uh, and then probably, again, just another infantry specialist. This guy's a good scout as well. Because we'll be able, we'll be having to put quite a few of these guys into certain positions as well. Uh, so, yeah. So, okay, that's interesting. So, you only have four of these guys, which is fine. So, I think everybody who's a... Yeah, you're quite good as well, right? You're... What is that ability? Okay, we'll just set everybody up here, and then I'll set my Centurion. So yeah, you stay as a Centurion. You stay as a Centurion. And then we need... You don't really have that many abilities. You're good at Supply. You're a good Recruiter. We actually don't have that many uh, dudes. To... I mean, obviously, we need like... Yeah, you'd probably be pretty good as well. Cool. So we have Infantry, Cavalry, Infantry, an aggressive Infantry guy, and a Medic. And these guys... Uh, cavalry, 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 right? Yeah, we have so much cavalry. I think I'll be fine for now. We'll also replenish as much as we can. How much money do we have? We have 2,800, so we can't replenish everybody. So I'll maybe just spend... Uh, it's really not a lot of people. For a 1,000, it's that, yeah. We'll spend, I don't know, like a 1,000 of our gold just to basically get our, our legion up to a decent status. Uh, and then we'll head over here really quickly so we can start actually applying some of these uh, these guys into this as well. So yeah, now you can see we can start putting these guys here. And obviously, they each have their own bonuses so on our barracks do it so this guy does good with barrackses a, a trained architect no that's not good someone is pretty crafty so he uh downgrades the deterioration risk of any threat of injury uh that's not really that good either i was thinking that someone would be have a uh, i'm pretty sure there's like an ability is a visibility yeah a talented recruiter so we need someone who has the good ability to recruit so we need that camp symbol uh, and then, obviously, this is injury. So, yeah, we'll stick you there. Yeah? Can we just apply that? Can I not apply him? Can apply him there, but not there. It would seem. 
Oh, leave injured people so he can go here, right? But they're not critically injured, so that's fine anyway. Okay. Seems good enough to me. We have nothing to upgrade yet either, so that's also absolutely fine. Okay, we have no resources, so no need to worry there. Okay, good to know. Well, these guys will come along with me anyway. Again, not really too fast. I want to kind of basically completely redo them at some point anyway. Any reason to go to the market? I don't think so. At your service. The Legion's looking fine. Uh, so yeah, cool. I think that's what we're going to go ahead and call this episode then. Um, so yeah, we're ready to go ahead and set out and start conquering uh, resource lands uh, and really getting stuck into the game. This is where the game truly begins. Obviously, we have our own kind of mission to set out on and we can take a lot of these centurions with us uh, we'll definitely be looking for some good guys to, to start leveling up and if you guys have any good tips on what guys i should be looking for let me know in the comments down below but obviously there's a lumber mill here uh there's this and there's hunting grounds as well definitely gonna probably go after this uh this lumber mill right away uh, and the quarry probably gonna be my first two uh, things I try and take out and then obviously food and the tannery will be next But if you guys are enjoying this make sure you go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below I'll see you guys in the next one and fish out